What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode here today for the Canadian Grand Prix Part 31 and we're going to start off in the R&D, you can see we have some R&D coming in hopefully in the next three rounds, engine and durability put into the Canadian Grand Prix then, into qualifying and Canada, my favourite track on the entire calendar um, and also holds in my opinion the greatest race of all time in the 2011 Grand Prix when Jensen Button won the race on the last lap after, pit after pitting six times and was last twice but I don't know what it is but the tracks that I like I seem to be very quick round we're into Q2 and we are fourth so as usual suspects out in Q1 the Haases and the Williams now coming towards the end of our first run in Q2 we cross the line and it is P2 those are Gasly, Leclerc, Ricardo and Daniel Kvyat along with our teammate Lando Norris and Sebastian Vettel have fallen in Q2 now into Q3 can we get pole we were very close um, last um, last in Q2 we were a couple of thousands off but this is our first run our second run we have already gone P8 and now our last run of the day with down in P9 can we get on pole we've gone up to the line we are on pole for now we've got one more run can we do it again we were on pole in Canada and um, in Monaco and now we're around the final corner at the end of Q3 we're still on pole stroll P2 we're gonna go even quicker just about but here we go, we've got time for another lap, so we might as well do it, as here we go, through the chicane. And now round the little left-right when we're strolling, Brendan Hartley came together a few years ago, 2018. After that, that was also where Sebastian Vettel made his mistake in the 2011 Grand Prix. We've found time though. We found it um, just under two tenths. We're heading down to the hairpin. We've got to get this breaking point right, otherwise we're going to lose a lot of time. We go a little bit deep, but we should be all right as we have the final sprint up towards the final chicane. Open a DRS at the right time. Under the bridge we go through the last chicane and Lewis Hamilton's put it on pole and we've gone wide at the final corner and lost all our time we've missed out on pole Lewis Hamilton is on pole f for another time in Canada you are top three today. we just Hamilton missed out by two tenths well, just under three line, tenths so we're ahead of Lance Stroll and Valtteri Bottas so that's what dramatic qualifying let's get into the canadian grand prix beside the saint lawrence river here in montreal for the canadian grand prix the event first moved to a variant of this track back in 1978 it was won by none other than gilles villeneuve the first canadian to ever win his home race and in whose honor the circuit would be renamed if you want flat out racing, you've come to the right place this weekend as it's full throttle for 59% of this 2.7 mile circuit, peaking at around 210 miles per hour going into the final chicane. But that speed requires discipline and there are more than a few close walls here just waiting to punish drivers with a heavy right foot. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again to offer his perspective. So let's talk about the Calabar. Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today to make up for the compromised start. 
It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position and Brown completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Stroll, Bottas, Max Verstappen and Perez, Albon, Russell, Ocon and Charles Leclerc, Ricardo, Kvyat, Sebastian Vettel and Norris, Giovinazzi, Latifi, Nick de Vries and Carlos Sainz. Magnussen, Gasly, Joe, and Callum Island. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. So Canada, um, pretty easy to stop. Um, we might as well. We've got to start on the soft anyway, but we might as well start on the soft, end on the soft, and do the middle stint in with the mediums. We might lose a little bit in the second stint, but we can, um, yeah, in the second stint, but we should be able to gain it back in that final stint. But let's get into it then. It's so a five foot lights, come on. And it's go here in Canada. Lewis Hamilton's got a good start. Can we get past him? No, we can't. We're falling back. And Lance Stroll has got ahead of, ahead of Bottas. He got a good start. He was, um, uh, from Bottas as we head through the first chicane. Lewis Hamilton pulls out a small gap as they're all jostling behind. And we head after the Brit, our fellow Brit in the Mercedes, my favourite driver. So hopefully we can battle with him. That would be incredible. But the car is getting there. I don't think we're as quick as the Mercedes yet as Lance Stroll continues to fight Valtteri Bottas and me and Lewis have started to pull away quite a bit and I was amazed with our pace as we are able to st stick with Lewis Hamilton and now possibly have a go on Lewis Hamilton around the little kink of turn one down the inside we fall about it was just a little bit too far back Lewis just keeping us in the jabbing distance we couldn't quite break into that DRS and get close enough to have a go as we head towards the final chicane again across the DRS detection point into the final chicane we've got we're much closer here and we've got a good exit can we get past Lewis Hamilton we're gonna send it down the inside down the inside we go but Lewis has cut us off what are you doing we're trying to go around the outside of Lewis Hamilton but he squeezed us out and we're falling back a little bit and that is round one of us v Lewis and now we've dropped back because that was our one chance and we we look like we might have blown it hopefully we can create some later on in the race but this is a replay of what happened see how close we was we sent it down the inside and we banged wheels and I tried to get the traction round the outside we were briefly ahead but Lewis squeezes us out gets the exit on the racing line because we were on the marbles and stays ahead of us but now with that with that chance we've been able to kind of stick there and we are much closer coming out the hairpin as we go over the DRS is this gonna be our chance we get closer closer can we have a go into the final chicane and we're gonna be brave enough no we're gonna yeah no. as we both go into the pits is that time I built that way too much I was fully expecting us to go straight on and um, to go right as Lewis goes on to another set of the soft tyres and we are going to go on to a set of the mediums and we have beat out Lewis Hamilton great job lads what a pit stop and we are jump Lewis Hamilton in the pits but Lewis is going to be strong on those soft tyres so we need to keep him behind and we've kept it we've kept him at jabbing distance just like it was in the first stint but Lewis is going to be very quick on those soft tyres and you can see here he's just getting closer we look to have just got the gap out though like I was saying jabbing distance it's very much psychological boxing match this between us two but we, we kept him at bay the, the mediums had some pace in them 
and as Lewis Hamilton comes into the pits to make his final stop of the day he will be going on to the mediums and the fact that we could stick with his pace on the mediums surely that makes our job easier and um, when we go back onto the softs at the end of the Grand Prix as he trundles down the pit lane me and me and Lewis because we were just because we were just pushing each other we just kept pushing up further up the road to Bottas and Lance Stroll they were having their own private battle just like me and Lewis were they're skipping on now all the way to lap 25 and we're going to come in to make our one and only stop Lewis has got the gap down quite a bit got it down to 11 seconds but I know I've got the pace to hopefully catch him back we've got 10 laps to do it as we cross the line you'll see Lewis go past there he is but we need to beat out Stroll through goes Lewis Hamilton can we beat out Lance Stroll no we can't yes we can we're on the outside no and now this might just cost us we tried to go down the inside we're all over the back of the racing point we need to get past him quick I thought we'd be able to beat the Canadian out and now the Canadian at his home Grand Prix is into P2 and this might cost us because we've had to spend a whole lap stuck behind the racing point and I don't want to do that any longer as we are going to go round the outside at the final chicane on Lance Stroll what a move that is and we just continue to push and push and push and we did catch Lewis Hamilton can we get the job done this is round two round one didn't go too well for us of course but now we're going to send it down the inside. Lewis has done it again. We've made contact. And Lewis forces us wide. And now we've got the exit. Can we go down the inside of Lewis Hamilton? We may have some damage on the front wing. But we get the job done. Here is a replay of it. And we get, we're getting closer and closer. We send it down the inside. Lewis carves it, cuts us off. We get the job done, we have a little bit of damage on the front wing, but we managed to do the switch back and that it's got us ahead of Lewis Hamilton. And to be honest, that's what I wanted to do. The pit stop was great beating him, but ultimately I don't want it to be a strategy race as Sergio Perez retires from the Grand Prix. But what I was saying, I don't want it to be a strategy race. I want to do it on the track not in the pits as we see Sergio Perez's engine blowing up and the Renault engine not going any further as he parked it under the trees so it's impossible to see where he actually parked it up as we go through now and you can see him look at the engine he was just minding his own business and it went bang as we round the final corner then we've only gone and done it we did it in monaco we've done it in canada we win the grand prix absolutely awesome just amazing well done here in Canada. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs, and that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. Faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much-deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all. Well, what a race we... We overcome the GOAT of Formula 1, Lewis Hamilton.
a strategy. I'm not going to lie. When is, um, I thought it'd go to the soft and us on the medium. I didn't expect us to continue to pull away. I don't think that was doing just over the second, just over a second. He never got close enough to have a go. Um, Lando Norris struggling again as we move further up the up the standings and yeah we're, we're on a bit of a run here and I'm kind of enjoying it obviously the win in Monaco we got very lucky last time out in Baku and now the win here in Canada is incredible again we're doing all right in the constructors we jump above Renault of course Sergio Perez retiring and going into the rivalry we are continuing to dominate Nick De Vries of course that alpha isn't really anywhere near our car that that I've, I've picked that up way too much um no but i think lando is where the car is but i'm just i'm dragging it up there we get all of our sponsor bonuses which is also incredible um we'll ignore the fact i've got loads of damage just look at um Lando side and picture that the other side we've got 9 million budget which I'm sure if that was an actual F1 team we'll be going under and on the R&D side we're going to do an upgrade to the Aero because um, our, our Aero is quite poor and my decision is kind of based on whatever we're lowest at um, on the R&D tree so We've pretty much got an upgrade coming to every department now, but if you have enjoyed the video and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you for the next race in France. Goodbye.